Devin. My ex cheated on me with my mom and received gonorrhea from her. As my ex is pissed by the fact that I keep telling people that my mom gave him gonorrhea and he wants me to stop. So, I'm going to tell a story about how my ex, Devin, contracted gonorrhea. This is going to be paraphrased and shortened. Back in 2014, I was forced into ballet by my mother. I hated it, as I wasn't the ballerina type, so I fought with my mom, but in the end, I ended up giving up and went anyway. And that is how I met Devin. He was the most beautiful ballerina I ever saw. He carried himself with grace, his smile was intoxicating, and everybody wanted a piece of Devin, but he only had eyes for me. It didn't take long before we started dating. He was 16 and I was 14. I was in love with Devin. He was supposed to be my knight in shining armor, however. Devin was just a pussy wrapped up in tin foil. About five months into our relationship, Devin and I went to a party. Halfway through the party, I lost Devin, so I went looking for him. I found him receiving a blowjob from another girl. I just walked away. I was trying to walk home when the cunt muffin rolled up, telling me to get in his car. I didn't want to. I told Devin to go fuck himself. I would rather walk home in the goddamn dark than deal with his bitch ass. I don't remember how Devin convinced me to get in his car, but when I did, I just wanted to know why. Why did he cheat on me? That son of a bitch tried to gaslight me. Nothing like that happened. He doesn't know what I'm talking about. I saw nothing. It was not what it's seen. I was making things up. I would not buy that shit because I know what I saw. Then Devin cut off the headlights of his car and just floored it down the dirt road with no streetlights and just screamed how he was going to kill both of us and how when someone found our bodies, they just assumed it was an accident. Devin then stopped the car and told me that if I bring up that girl one more time, it won't end well for me. Devin drove me home after that. I should have left him after that, but I was just so afraid of him. It didn't take long for the physical and emotional abuse to start. Dating Devin was like dating my mom. He would scream at me, cry, and stomp his foot when I didn't do what he wanted me to, hit me, repeatedly, pressured me into sex, forced me to do angel dust, threatened to kill himself when I refused to talk to him. We dated for a year, and in that year, I experienced hell. I didn't tell people what was happening, because I was afraid that no one would believe me. On to the title. I had tennis practice, but halfway through my practice, I started to feel sick, so I called my stepdad to pick me up and take me home. Before we pulled into the driveway, there was Devin's car. It wasn't all surprising as sometimes Devin would just be in the house waiting for me. Then, as we walked into the house, we heard them. My mom and Devin weren't quiet. My stepdad pulled out his phone to record, and then we went upstairs and walked on Devin Jack hammering my mom. There was a lot of screaming, threats, and crying. My stepdad and I went to the car, then we drove to a parking lot and just cried while our phones were blowing up. My stepdad then sent the video of my mom and Devin to both of Devin's parents. My ex-in-laws asked for a meeting. They exchanged information, and my stepdad told them he would see them in court. His parents tried to play it off like Devin was a victim. 1. The legal age of consent in my hometown is 16 and he was 17 at the time. 2. No, he fucking wasn't. If you watch the video, Devin was trying to smack the phone out of my stepdad's hand, and when I started crying, asking him how he can do this to me, Devin started telling me to stop crying because I wasn't even that good at sex anyway. My stepdad and I went back to the house. I just went to my room while he went to pack his stuff to leave. My mom came into my room and I was crying, because even though Devin was a piece of shit, he was still my boyfriend. My mom started making fun of me for crying. It's not my fault that your boyfriend wanted me. Boo-hoo, stop crying, maybe you put on some more makeup, you can keep a man. Then she went on to say how Devin pleased her so well, that he knows how to make her come like a real man, and unlike my stepdad, he knows where the clit was, that Devin would always tell her that she's tighter than I am. All the while, Devin was trying to call me. Y'all! Devin's way of apology was to blame me. I'm sorry you had to see that, but if you spend more time with me, I wouldn't have been seeking other women. Your mom was there for me and she cared for me. You abandoned me when I need you the most. Blah, 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 victim blaming, victim blaming like bitch. I gave you my heart and soul. I put my needs on the back burner for yours. What the fuck do you want from me? Then Devin switched tactics, trying to convince me that I misunderstood the situation, like motherfucker. I walked on you fucking my mom. You flip-floppy bastard. So fast forward to the time I went to school, I didn't talk to my mom or Devin at that time. So Devin's sister spread the news to the school that Devin had sex with my mom. Now I was afraid to tell people that Devin was abusing me, because I knew no one would believe me, because Devin had this good boy reputation. Only a few people have seen how awful Devin truly was. However, Devin let his mask slip and hit me in front of the whole student body. The funny part about Devin hitting me is the fact that no one believed he was having sex my mom. No one believed that until he hit me and started screaming that I ruined his reputation. He just had to keep his fucking mouth shut. 
We were separated, and I had to explain to the principal and our guidance counselor that that wasn't the first time Devin had hit me. That boy did a lot worse things to me than just hit me. Do you want to hear some mass-up shit? Before me, Devin was in a relationship with a girl and he did the same thing he did to me to her. She told people and no one believed her because, like I said above, Devin was a good boy in everybody's eyes. They isolated that girl to the point where she had to move away. No one believed her, until Devin slapped me and it didn't help that Devin threw a tantrum. He got suspended because he broke things in his tantrum. After that, a lot of people came forward and spoke about how Devin was secretly a piece of shit. Devin's parents gave my stepdad some money to keep it out of court and then moved away because of shame. And my stepdad and my mom got divorced because Devin wasn't the only person my mom was cheating with. By the way, my mom never stopped seeing Devin. That bitch took him on elaborate trips. They went to Hawaii, Disneyland, and goddamn Texas. Devin and my mom were a match made in hell, but karma prevails. Devin suffered a leg injury and he can't do ballet anymore and he got fat. My mom left him, his parents abandoned him, and the last time I checked, he works at an auto store and lives with his sister. And to top all that my mom gave him gonorrhea. How is your leg? I know you're reading this, you piece of shit. It's a shame, isn't it? You tried your best to live a good life, but in the end, you're in debt, fat as hell, and worth nothing. But me? I'm in love, happily married to a dude who treats me like a queen and has three babies. Eat the dirtiest part of my ass, Devin. Edit. Devin seen this post. I repeat. Devin seen this post. Devin's in the audience, people. Look alive. Edit too, is not, Devin. Leave that person alone. Should have said this earlier. That is not Devin. Never realized some of y'all was attacking the poor dude. Leave them alone. And no, that's not my real account. That is just a Redditor that comment on a post. Leave them alone. That's not me, and that's not Devin. Leave them alone. Update. My story has been read by Brew. Well, Devin's sister is apparently subscribed to Reddit Brew, and she, being an asshole, shared the video with Devin, and he lost his shit. Devin broke things. And when his sister laughed at him, Devin hit her and stole her laptop to contact me through Discord. Also, I'm sorry about the grandma mistakes. I'm way too tired to try to fix them today. This is the text message I received from him. I just don't know where to post them, so I'm going to copy from Discord to here. Addison, I understand what I did to you was painful, but it was almost eight years ago. Your little Reddit post went way too far, and now it's everywhere on YouTube. Does it feel good knowing that you humiliated me? I'm asking you, I'm begging you, Addison, please remove the post before my work sees it. Never once you apologized to me, Devin. This is the first time you acknowledge what you did to me. I don't give a fuck that it almost been eight years, I don't care, because never once you said, I'm sorry to me. Never once you said, I'm sorry, Addison, for basically raping you, drugging you, forcing you to do drugs, hitting you, fucking your mom, never once. And when you did, you say, I'm sorry, but, then blame me. You expect me to get over it. You expect me to let it go. You affected me to where it took me years to trust another person. What your sister has told me, you have not changed. And the little tantrum you threw when your sister laughed at you shows that, even though it's been damn near eight years, you really have not changed. Suck my cock and swallow what comes afterwards, you khaki shorts wearing, Mr. Brown knees having little bitch. Yes, I take great pleasure in humiliating you. Do you know how many Devons work in an auto store? Unless you've been bragging about fucking people's mamas, I doubt people would put two and two together. You better be lucky your sister only kicked you out. If I was her, I would call the cops on you for hitting me and destroying my things. Go fuck yourself, Devin. You're one of the reasons why I'm in therapy. Maybe one day I will forgive you, but we both know damn well it won't be tomorrow. Also, some people think that my mom raped Devin as he was 17 and could not consent to my mom. Yeah, that is bullshit. Devin was a predator. He was 17, so when their little love affair started, he was above the age of consent in my hometown. I'm not saying what they did was right. I'm saying Devin knew what he was doing. Devin was a predator. He knew what the fuck he was doing. He knew when to keep his mouth shut and when to speak. He knew who to target and who to become friends with. He knew who to abuse and who to be buddy-buddy with. He targeted the weak and friended the strong. Devin was a predator. He was not a victim of my mom. Just because he was young does not mean he couldn't consent. I didn't mention this in my last post, but Devin used to send me videos of him doing sexual things with other people just to make me upset. And my mom wasn't the only person who Devin was cheating on me with, she just was the person I didn't know about. Devin knew what he was doing. But I should thank you, Devin, as you're the reason why I am the woman that I am today.